Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. We recently put out some purported screenshots of a Michigan Bigfoot filmed near some waterfalls and caves. It was sent to us by a gentleman named Rodney. He told us he captured the creature on video and was having difficulty sending us the video because it's so large. Because we only had his screenshots and his story, personally, I was a little skeptical, simply because a photo can be easily manipulated. After several weeks, Rodney was able to send us the several minutes of video footage that captured this creature for about four seconds on the video. I will show you the section of the creature was captured, and I will slow the footage down and zoom in for a closer look. Now that I can see he actually captured it on video, and it backs up his original story, I am very interested in the footage and the best profile zoomed in screenshots of the creature that show its face, eyes, nose, and sagittal crest. Right here, Rodney pans down towards some rock stacks. Bigfoot is known for making rock stacks. Doesn't mean a person didn't do it. After he pans to the rock stack, then he pans left. It's here that he captures the creature on video up there on the upper left hand side. Did you see it? And then he checks out a cave. He did hey. not see the creature until later when he reviewed the video. I would like to show you that again at slower speed and then I would like to zoom in on it. This is about 20% of the speed. Again, upper left corner. Same 20% speed, cropped in and stabilized at the top. All right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. It gets pixelated. The screenshots zoomed in of the original footage are a little bit better. We're going to go over those, and I'll show you the face, the beard, the sagittal crest. Just amazing footage. The creature appears to sport a mohawk on its sagittal crest because it has no hair on the sides of its head and face until you get down to its ears, back and neck, and upper lip. The beard and sagittal crest mohawk, if you will, appear to be much darker hair or fur than the rest of the body, down to its upper legs and then its rump. Then it gets darker again on its thighs. Amazing video and screenshot of this elusive giant known as Bigfoot captured on camera. Here is the screenshot footage that we put out before we received this amazing video. Every summer, we receive several Bigfoot sighting reports from the state of Michigan, and once in a while, an exciting video or photo of the creature. Last year, we received an amazing video of the creature crossing the Cass River. Recently, we received this screenshot photo from a gentleman hiking in the Autrain Falls area near Marquette, Michigan. This is what Rodney writes. I think that's where he was headed, in that cave. It was right across from the falls. I know these are screenshot, but I just got a glimpse of them. I was doing a video. He was right across the falls. RMSO responds, any more photos? What happened? What did you see? Would like to hear any pertinent details about your sighting or encounter. Rodney continues, I think that's where he was headed, in that cave. It was right across from the falls. I know these are screenshot, but I just got a glimpse of them. As I was doing a video, he was right across the falls. That's how far away it was, Autrain and Marquette. RMSO replies, I gathered the Bigfoot looking subjects as a screenshot from the video. Rodney replies, yes it was. One of these days, I got to go back. I know where it is. Excited that I got something like this. All by accident. RMSO responds, how many seconds are you able to see of him on the video? Does he move at all in the video or does he hold still? Rodney replies, I was taking the video at the falls. I was going up to them from the bottom, and I seen him just a little glimpse, but I didn't recognize it till after I got home. It was only maybe a second. Maybe next year I go back up there, because I know where it was, but I got across the fall, and it's actually kind of thick up there. I just thought this was a good picture. Here is another picture that a guy with me took, and to me it's in the pine trees across the falls. 
but mine was down a little bit further. But it's the same falls. You aren't going to kill it, are you? RMSL responds, No, we have no intention of harvesting nor hurting the creature. Our group is no hurt, no kill. Our goal is to get a clear open video footage of the creature. Rodney states, Thank you so much. RMSL replies, Wondering if you heard anything that day that may have been Bigfoot related like vocalizations of wood knocks or saw anything else like tracks, structures, or territory snap-offs. Rodney replies, I seen the rock structure that I sent you, but I was a little bit confused before I got up to the waterfall. Other than that, no. It might not even noticed I was there, because I was like two to three hundred yards away. Yeah, I wish I could show you the video, but it's like six or seven minutes long and it won't let me send it. RMSO replies, if you figure out how to cut out the clip of interest, then it may be short enough to send. This is most of Rodney's video that he sent to us. We thought we would show those who were interested. He just walked around casually filming and then realized after he had got home, he captured that Bigfoot, zooming in on it, especially the screenshots of the original footage. It's very compelling. Looks like Bigfoot, even almost in a patty pose, almost the same dark color, amazing footage. Here's what he filmed while he was there. See if you can pick out the section where the Bigfoot shows. A cave. Keep on watching, we're going to keep on squatching.